Hello everyone. I just wanted to hop on here and share a video today on the topic of three reasons why women should walk with a smile. So when I got this video suggestion, topic suggestion, I, I chuckled and even at first I was a little bit kind of like triggered and put off by it, <laughs> a bit offended. But then I realized this is actually a tool that I coach women on. And I use a lot in my own relationship, just the whole idea of smiling more in your marriage, in your love life, in your, you know, when you're dating, when you're even just going out and you want to attract that dream man. So I actually, the more I thought about it, the more I got excited to do a video on this topic. And actually yesterday I was in a situation where I, in my own marriage where I used this and it was really powerful. So I'm like, okay, I got to hop on on Monday and do a whole video about this. So I'm going to share with you three reasons why women should walk with a smile on their face, walk more than just walk with a smile on their face, use that as an important relationship skill. And this is going to be beneficial for you, whether or not you're already, you know, married or in a committed relationship, or if you're dating, or even if you're not dating and you want to prepare yourself to be back in the dating world, or maybe you just want to, you know, you're, you're open and you just want to attract that, that Mr. Right that you've been dreaming about since you were a little girl. So make sure to stay and watch till the end, because number three, the third reason I'm going to share why you, you should walk women in general should walk with a smile on their face is going to be like the most important all right so make sure to to stay tuned for that so the first reason and this first reason is going to apply mostly to single women or dating women but if you're married in a relationship you're also going to want to listen to this all right because it's going to be important for you too and it's the whole idea of smiling because it's attractive, right? Because it, it makes you seem like you're fun to be around. People want to be around people who are happy. I'm going to say women because all my videos talk about women. So don't be, you know, offended if I say women in particular. I think everyone should smile more. <laughs> you know, that's going to help, you know, on so many levels. But obviously I speak to women. So that's why I call you ladies out and that you're just going to be more approachable, um, to be around like to approach right if you're if you're smiling if you seem like you're enjoying life like you're easy going and actually i've been i worked with a client recently and this is something she started doing as she's you know more into the dating world and looking to attract that special someone and she started smiling more and she messaged me and she's like you know the more i'm smiling just as i'm going out and doing my things the more i notice that men notice me and they open doors for her right and she's getting that chivalry that she's really looking for that old school old-fashioned love that she, she's looking for right this is an important step to getting that and if you're married in your relationship this is also important right to just maintain that magnetism in your relationship especially when it's been a long time you start taking each other for granted the more you can smile you know and just be, you know, seem approachable, even in your own relationship, all right? The better off the, the flame's gonna be, that, that, that dynamic, that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's Monday. Not that flame, keeping the spark, right? Keeping the spark alive or getting the spark back in your relationship. Just really be conscious and intentional about how much you're, you're smiling or not smiling. And actually with this client I referred to, I was sharing a while back, I remember back when, you know, a long, long time ago when I was in the dating world, going out to a bar once with some girlfriends and we were just hanging out. I was single and there was this guy who was behind me and he leaned over and he said, you would be so much prettier if you smiled more. <laughs> I remember being so offended. I was so offended and so triggered on the spot. And, you know, I question, you know, what his intentions were with that comment, if it was out of, you know, positive intention or if he was just being a, a butthole. But now looking back on this, I'm like, oh, that's some wisdom there that I didn't take on because I was just so offended and triggered by that. Um, but now thinking back to it, I'm like, yeah, like men notice that. That was my evidence at that time that men do notice how much you smile or don't smile. Yeah, we should smile more, right? Yeah, it makes your day go well and also makes others feel good. That is so, so true. Thank you so much for sharing that. So number two, this is going to be for women who are mostly like in a relationship or who are married. But of course, if you're dating or single, you're going to want to know this before you are in that relationship, right? To be prepared. Um, so 
smiling is just going to help just the positive vibe in your relationship overall. And this is actually the first piece of advice I received when I sought professional help to fix things in, in my marriage, right? In my relationship with my current dream man. That was the first thing that I was told to start thinking about is what's the energy you bring into the room? What does it feel like for the other person, your man, when he, you know, when he comes home from work, when he walks into the room and you're there, what's the vibe like? And I know at that point we were kind of, we were more struggling. We were, you know, holding on to a lot of resentment in our relationship. So I can just imagine, right, if there would have been a camera there recording me, I'm sure I wasn't smiling that much, right? Especially when, you know, I had all these things I wasn't saying, I wasn't getting my needs met. He wasn't either from, in all fairness, right? This was both of us. Um, But that was something I was unconscious about. I wasn't realizing it was a blind spot for me. I wasn't really making use of the tool to just smile more when he walks into the room or when he gets home from work, even though you know, maybe things were rough and there were things we still needed to deal with, it doesn't take away the fact that I still love this person. I can still be happy to see them and we can still have things to work on. There can still be that polarity in the relationship, in in the whole situation. It doesn't take away the fact and even just doing the smiling more and being more intentional with the vibe in the relationship helped us progress on fixing whatever we were struggling with, right? It was the first step in kind of addressing the situation, making it safe for us to talk to one another, again, making things, making me be more approachable, right? A lot of women come to me and they're like, you know, my my man has a wall up, right? If he's got a wall up, then there, it, there, there needs to be more safety there. And if you can be smiling and more approachable, then you can increase your odds that he will open up that and with other relationship tools. So how often do you intentionally just smile, right? Just to show that you're happy um, to be around him and, and to be in this relationship. That's going to go just a long way. And I know a lot of times I, I talk on these videos about, you know, just be very mindful of your vibe and the energy. And that can seem very like intangible. What does that mean? Well, a tangible way to to create this vibe, create this energy is going to be for for you to smile more. All right. So number three, I'm going to go into number three now. Like I said, I feel this is the most important reason and it has to do with emotional mastery. And this is going to be important to you, whether or not you're married or you're dating, whatever your relationship status is, being able to manage your emotions in your love life and in every aspect of your life is going to be huge, huge, huge. That's usually what trips us up in life is when we don't have a grasp over our emotions, we run off emotions, we respond, we talk to people out of an emotional state that we're in. So just smiling more is going to be a really powerful way to help you with this. And like I said earlier, this is something I I was sharing that this video topic is something that came up for us like recently, just in my own personal love life. So yesterday, um, so my husband and I are like, remarried to each other right we're a second marriage and um we we both have children so we're a blended family so if i remember the stat correctly 70 percent of second marriages with blended families end in divorce so like we have all odds against each other so even though i do this work and i help other women with this work i still do it all myself every single day in my own relationship because i know the odds are stacked against us and the reason i share that is that If these tools work in a situation like I'm in, second marriage, blended family, like you're golden, right? If your relationship is different or even if it is as hard, but in another another way, there are other big challenges that people deal with in relationships, right? These tools and even this approach is going to be beneficial against those other big obstacles that you may be facing, all right? So... How does smiling more help with emotional mastery? Well, yesterday, so my husband and I were kind of not seeing eye to eye on on a situation with one of the children, right? And because like we both have children and they're not all each other's (laughs) children too, right? There are differences in parenting and sometimes that can be really difficult because we somehow, you know, we sometimes have differences in how we would approach a situation or, you know, do something. So this came up for us and 
at the end, we kind of came to an agreement, right? So it didn't escalate. Obviously, it started with us kind of feeling a little bit riled up. But using the tools that I share here, I have a lot of videos on, on arguing and avoiding arguing and how, you know, to really navigate that using those tools, you know, we came to came to an agreement. Um, but after that, I was still feeling like my emotions coming up, right? Ideally, after there's any kind of disagreement, conflict, negotiation, you guys as a couple want to lean towards each other. You don't want to lean away, right? And have, you know, the silent treatment happen or one of you feels resentful because you didn't really quite get what you wanted. You want to, after these kind of these conversations, these disagreements, you want to um, still from a woman's perspective anyway, still be warm, right? You'll hear that word all over the internet from relationship coaches. You want to feel warm. And that's one of those other words that I find super intangible. Again, what does that mean, right? To feel warm. So after we had this conversation, I wasn't quite feeling warm yet. So I, after the conversation, I went to take a walk. I love taking walks. We were at the cottage. I like taking walks in the woods. And I was walking and I was realizing, okay, I'm, I still have these emotions that are coming up that I don't desire to feel, right? They weren't feeling good to me. Um, and I didn't want to carry those in my relationship or for the rest of the day or with the family, right? So I went out for a walk, started moving to move those those emotions out, right? To, to move them so they're not stuck inside, eating away at me. Um, but I was finding even though I was walking out in nature, I was able to get a place where um, I was feeling neutral after the fact. And I always encourage women when you're really like in those negative emotions, like don't try to slap the fake positivity. Don't try to go from one end of the spectrum to the other end of the spectrum, right? Try to even just get to neutral, if anything, right? So you can come back and, you know, not create more frustration or aggravate the situation, right? Like to, you want to get back to a space that's not going to just spin you guys down even more or have this, like they say, negative sentiment override. Um, so I was still feeling, you know, I was feeling neutral. And the thing with feeling neutral you have to be careful about is sometimes it can come off as what I've noticed can sometimes come off off as po um, passive aggressive so you want to be careful with that so I was really you know wanting to be intentional about bringing more of a good vibe back so what I did was after I was feeling neutral I just started smiling and and this was actually like backed by research, right? They did studies and they saw, you know, when you smile, your brain actually, you know, produces a chemical reaction. You start releasing dopamine, endorphins, serotonin, these feel-good hormones into your body. And there's science to back this. And they even say, like they even suggest people who are depressed to just start smiling more. And it actually has a physical reaction to help you out. So I just, I was walking, I looked crazy. So do this maybe when there's no one around and you know, um, no one to wonder like, why is she just smiling and there's no one around and there's nothing happening, right? So if, you know, if you're embarrassed about that or concerned about that, just make sure there's no one around. But I started walking with a smile on my face um, to really get those, you know, positive sentiments up. And when I came back, everything was great, right? We were leaning in, we had come, the compromise we had come up with like really worked really great and we could just go on our day and our relationship is just stronger right we have another piece of evidence that shows that we can overcome obstacles that we're going to be okay right it's not the end of the world when we have an argument it's not a threat to our relationship or to us which is a space we used to be in right where we were worried every time we were arguing all right is this like the end how bad is this you know um and it all happened thanks to that smile so walking with a smile on my face. So those are the three reasons I wanted to share with you guys today. Number one, if you're you're single or even if you're in a relationship, right? Just smiling more is going to be attractive. It's going to create that spark. It's going to be magnetic to men. Number two, if you're in a relationship, if you're married already, this is a great way to just maintain that. And again, even if you're single and just dating someone, right? Or more just in the beginning of the relationship, just smiling is going to create that positive vibe. You're going to be fun to be around. You're going to seem a lot more approachable in your, you know, when it comes to conversation or just in the relationship, a lot more fun. And number three is for emotional mastery to help you navigate your emotions and go maybe from a negative space to a more positive space so that you can, um, you know, not let things get you down and not continue any downward spiral in your relationship, right? To really snap out of it, to not do fake positivity, but to actually become 
positive and smile because you mean it, all right? So I hope this was interesting to you ladies. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.